Welcome to Crime Chronicles, where we dive deep into the most chilling and notorious cases. In today's video, in the quiet town of Jonesboro, Arkansas, a heinous crime shook such a community whose members couldn't envision such an act. Mark Despain, 34, a realtor appraiser, was brutally murdered in his home during this heartbreaking story of betrayal and greed that left everybody asking, why? It's a tragic story that is not just about murder, but rather a complex web involving family dynamics, financial problems, and deceit. In order to understand why Mark Despain's life had to end in such a shocking manner, we need to delve deeper into his relationships and people closest to him. Mark Despain was a likable, successful man in Jonesboro. He was in the business of real estate appraisal, and his business was growing steadily. To outward appearances, Mark had the American dream. A beautiful wife, Michelle, a daughter, and a large social circle. Mark was a nice and hard-working man. He was a man whom everything in life was working for. As perfect as this life sounded, there were quite a number of cracks in it. The deeper the investigators dug, the more they uncovered a series of complex relationships that would eventually lead to his tragic death. It was on August 24, 2011, that the Jonesboro Police Department received a 911 call, one that indeed shifted the course of their investigation. Michelle Despain called into emergency services frivolously to say her husband, Mark, had been shot in their home. He lay dead on the floor from multiple gunshot wounds upon police entry, with no indication of forced entry or struggle, furthering suspicions that this was no random act of violence. Initial suspicions of robbery, since the interior of the house had been torn up, were soon reconsidered when, quite literally, nothing was found missing. Mark's family and friends were very much in shock, as anyone who knew him could imagine or understand why anyone would want to hurt him. It wasn't until the investigation was well underway that police first had a shocking motive, one involving Mark's family. As investigators began to dig deeper into Mark's personal life, they found that his marriage to Michelle was less than ideal. Behind closed doors, their relationship was riddled with fights, financial troubles, and distrust. Even though the couple had been married for 14 years, over time, their loving relationship had disintegrated. There was certainly one thing campaigners commonly know that may have caused much tension between Mark and Michelle Money. Despite Mark's successful career, the couple often found themselves in financial straits, partly due to Michelle's expensive lifestyle. As time passed, however, it was not only financial problems that plagued the marriage. Mark had become increasingly suspicious of Michelle's loyalty. There were rumors flying around that Michelle might have been unfaithful, but these were never confirmed. On the other hand, the increasing tension between the two did leave the previously fairy tale like relationship sounding far more complicated. Interestingly, it did not take police very long to start focusing on Michelle as a person of interest. Her demeanor and some discrepancies in her story seemed to raise some red flags. Yet, Michelle was not the only one present with scrutiny. There was also friction between Mark and his father-in-law, Carl Kelly. This is because they shared a business relationship that had grown sour due to disagreements over finances. Mark's father-in-law likewise became a centerpiece for investigators. But as investigators dug deeper for weeks, a shocking plot would begin to take form. Today, officials know that Michelle Despain orchestrated the murder of her husband with the aid of her father, Carl Kelly. The motive? Money. Michelle stood to gain a large sum of money relative to Mark's life insurance policy. Finally, investigators learned that Michelle had hired an old friend of her, Johnny Hubbard, to kill Mark. Hubbard, in turn, hired a man named Terrence Barker to do the actual killing. Both men were promised a share of the insurance payout. What was even more chilling about it was the meticulous planning of the murder. Michelle, Carl, and Johnny had schemed about this event for months, down to discussing how to make it appear as though they were victims of a robbery gone wrong. They assured there was a time when Michelle would be at work and their daughter was not. Everything was done right down to the last detail. Through the investigation, police arrested Michelle Despain, Carl Kelly, Johnny Hubbard, and Terrence Barker in 2012 on charges related to Mark's killing. As more details of the plot emerged, the subsequent trial captivated the nation. But what shocked people the most was Michelle's involvement in her husband's murder. She had played the grieving widow in the days following Mark's death, even attending his funeral and shedding tears for the loss of her husband. Behind her facade, she was a calculating mastermind that had brought on the brutal killing of the man she vowed to love and cherish. The prosecution fully explained the extent of the plot at trial, including presenting evidence of how Michelle had manipulated those around her to further the plan. 
From convincing her father to participate to coordinating with the hitmen, Michelle left no stone unturned in her desire to be rid of Mark and cash in on his insurance policy. The defense did everything it could to minimize Michelle's involvement, portraying her as being under daddy's pressure rather than being the crime's mastermind. The jury wasn't buying it. Eventually, Michelle Despain was convicted of capital murder and received a sentence of life in prison without parole. Carl Kelly, Johnny Hubbard, and Terrence Barker received long prison sentences for their roles in the crime. The brutal murder of Mark Despain left the Jonesboro community with deep scars. The sadistic act was a grim reminder that, even in an idealistic setting, something dreadful might be hidden right beneath the surface. Friends and family could not understand such unimaginable betrayal at the hands of people who were supposed to care most about Mark Despain. His woman, sharing life with him, the mother of his child, be capable of cruelty this heinous. In the aftermath of the trial, many within the community sought ways to memorialize Mark, a kind heart who had been so tragically taken from them far too soon. Mark's young daughter, who had lost both her parents in less than a year, became a symbol of the innocence that this senseless crime tore apart. Mark Despain's case is tragic in how greed and betrayal can lead to unimaginable outcomes. It's a story that one would not like to imagine due to the great depths of human relationships and how far others will go with monetary gain. Mark's murder confronts us with the realization that sometimes the most dangerous threats come not from strangers but from those closest to us. The tragedy, though, is going to be remembered as Mark lost his life not to an anonymous criminal, but to the one he trusts the most. Moreover, this sense of profound loss Thank will you stay for watching in our this video of Crime Chronicles. Continue to reflect if on you this enjoyed case. the journey into today's case, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you never miss an update. Got a case you'd like us to cover? Drop it in the comments. Until next time, stay safe and stay curious.